guys it's Parcival back and got a couple projects I was gonna show you guys today first of all uh, there's the start of my storage system and here's kinda what I'm thinking I, you know, I've got and I'm gonna explain how I do this and it's probably not new to most of you but it, it may be new to some of you so I'm gonna go through it but here's the idea I have for the, the chests I've got a group of single chests uh, then I'm going to have groups of double chests for those items that you get a lot of. So I'm going to have, obviously, a lot of cobblestone. A lot of dirt. Probably going to want to have one for netherrack. Um, yeah, not sure what else. I might have one for iron. Uh, so anyway, but that's the plan. But before we get into that, uh, I have some enchanting I need to do. Uh, you know, my, I've been pretty good. This actually dropped from my skeleton spawner. Skeleton dropped that, so that's that's a good helmet. Uh, so I'm probably actually going to change out. Oops. Nice. That's a nice look. Looks like a, like a bonnet or something. Chainmail helmet. Yes, sir. With protection, too. Very nice look. Um, okay, so let's uh, kind of starting to get. Uh, this was another drop from the skeleton spawner, so good stuff there. Uh, been enchanting some books of late. Got some good stuff going here. Enchanted a bow with. It's just an awesome bow. Uh, I've got an efficiency for pickaxe. It's about dead. Here's my fortune pickaxe. It's so only Fortune 2 instead of Fortune 3, but it, it does the job. And my Super Duper Sword, which... You know, I need to be naming this stuff. Uh, haven't, haven't done that yet, but anyway. Okay, so I think we're going to do another pickaxe, just because... Uh, I've got the Silk Touch efficiency on breaking pickaxe, and it's an awesome pickaxe. It's almost so good that I'm afraid to use it. I want to keep it. I know that's kind of silly, uh, but let's uh, let's craft up a pickaxe and then we will go enchant it. Okay, very nice. Uh, I've got some stuff cooking over there, which I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. But there's nothing like a good enchanting here to start off our day. Let's see. Now I never go for the first level, uh, and I I kind of have. Uh, oh, let's let's do this one. Let's see what we get here. Well, all right, that's a good pick. Replaces this one. Yes, indeed. We can live with that. We can live with that. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I've ever, I think I, well, I've showed you down here because I did my, uh, you know, this is the the door system that I showed you earlier in another video, how to make a pop-up door in, with Minecraft uh, after the redstone update with 1.5. Um, so I've got plans for down here, just not, not getting there yet. Okay, uh, now... Um, before we do anything else, let's. I need to collect a bunch of stone that I cooked up because we're going to head over to the skeleton spawner. I want to show you what's been going on over there. Uh, let's check it out. Oh, let's go sleep first. Huh. Oh, you know what? Darn it. There's, there's a, yeah, I, I need to fix this, and I'll tell you what's going on with it. Uh, so if I go out this door, and I've, this is off, it won't open on the inside. It's like it's locked. So I gotta, I gotta fix that. Uh, I think I know how to do it, just haven't done it yet. And when I do it, I'll show you how to, how to fix that. Okay, let's sleep. Okay, 
Uh, we about done here? Yep. That's good enough. Alright, let's go over to the skeleton spawner. Check it out. Feather fallen boots working really well. Oh, I separated out the cow. <laughs> the cows from the sheep. <coughs> Excuse me. It was driving me nuts because I was wanting to breed more cows than sheep, and I kept breeding sheep and cows, and they were all. T oh, looks like I got one sheep in with the cows still. Look at that guy. Don't you know? Where is he? There he is. Okay. Well, anyway. Well. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. Um, okay, skeleton spawner. Here you are. Okay, so here's the old way down. Here's gonna be the new way down. And here's what we got going on. Uh, not done with it yet. I was gonna finish it up today. Uh, so, yeah, this is the look. Put in the nether brick. I had to move this panel over. We got everything labeled correctly. And uh, I've made some chests. This one's for bows. Uh, this is the one that collects everything. Uh, I've been going through and combining bows because you get like a million of them. Uh, so I've been getting good drops on armor. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Um. So rather than have that on right now, I'm going to finish working on this. Uh, we need probably some more uh, of our stone brick. And we're going to use our handy dandy efficiency pickaxe. And we're going to be filling this in. So you can tell here I've got my kind of my pattern going. I'm going to have to do go up top and fix the uh, fix that. Oh yeah, and then uh, I have an idea which just came to me. It's a brilliant idea, I do believe. Uh, here, let's try it up here first. Um, okay. Will that work? Um, I have to do it here. Okay, so we, we're gonna... Okay, so the stone slabs... I believe are still transparent. So if we put torches underneath and then cover it back up with the stone slab like this, like this. Hmm. I don't know that isn't working. Maybe it's only stairs that are transparent that will allow light to flow through, because that's that's really not letting any light through, is it? Huh. Oh, well. It was a good thought. Yeah, I don't think that really functioned at all. <laughs> so. Oh, well. Uh, am I going to be able to get this? No. no. Alright, well, never mind. Never mind indeed. Let's fill this back in. Under here, just so we don't have... Uh, I don't think anything can spawn in there, but... We will fill it in nonetheless. Whoops. We'll put these back. We will put this back. Okay, and then, you know, we're going to have to have some kind of lighting in here, I think. <clears throat> uh, I might just do some glowstone in the ceiling. Uh, you know, there's really, you know, these are all half slabs, and nothing is going to spawn on them. We could leave it dark, uh, but let's finish this off, see what it looks like here, and then make our decision. So I had an, I have another idea. Once you know, I get up top here. The thought 
across my mind that I want to have kind of a building to uh, go with this an entrance to this the spawner and I was kind of thinking of putting uh, yeah I probably should get my shovel instead of oh there we go uh, I was kind of thinking of maybe well putting kind of a decoration of sorts uh, on top of the building which maybe I won't tell you right now what I'm thinking. Maybe it'll just be a surprise. Uh, but I'm thinking of doing something a little bit different than what I have done previously with the sandstone buildings. And we'll see. We will see. Uh, I'm still not using my shovel, am I? It's hilarious. So we're about done. And I think yeah, I went with the stone slabs because uh, they're easy to run up and they look nice. And I do like the uh, the stone slab mixed with the cobble kind of look. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's let's do that here. We're about to the top, and let's kind of make it a little bit different here. I kind of like the mixed look of the stone and the the, the brick too on the way up. It gives it kind of a little bit different texture. Uh, we're about done. We're about to the top. I hear a cow up top. I've had cows getting loose, which I need to fix. I put a, well when I moved the sh cows and the sheep and separated them. I had issues. Things things got loose. Uh, what am I doing? Throwing away my iron ore. Don't want to do that. Do not want to do that. Uh, okay, so let's think through here up top. If I can get out of here. Um. Okay, so we're gonna have. Let's bring this up one more. So let's have this go like this, and this go like this. Okay, and we'll go down here and add the rest of this. Okay, I'm liking that. Yeah, so for the outside of this, I mean, I'm not exactly sure uh, what we're going to do, uh, but we're going to do something. I'm having the hardest time moving these things around in and out of my... What is going on? Huh. A little bit of a little bit of block lag here. That's interesting. There we go. Uh, okay, we're finishing this. We need to put in more of our stone slabs, which actually I don't have anymore. Uh, so. Let's make a few more. How about that? Um, and I think we need a few more cobblestone slabs too. All right, that'll be enough. Uh, some cobble. I don't have much cobblestone, do I? Um, all right, that should be enough. I think. Okay. Hmm. Uh, don't like that lag that's going on. Get these down here, down here. Uh, then we'll put them down here. This is all working out nicely here. <clears throat> Probably run back and go sleep. 
you know, I do, of course I am an op, so I can set time, which I do occasionally. I don't, I, I try not to do it too much, just because, you know, I do not want to spawn myself stuff. I don't want to, you know, I'm not, this is survival, this is not creative, so I want to keep it as such. So even though sometimes it takes a little bit of time to, to and you get, you know, well, I many times come back from my skeleton spawner at night and been just mobbed by mobs, so. But we'll go in, we'll sleep it off real quick. And we'll hit that again. How oh, is there a monster nearby? That's not a good sign. What we got going on here? Ho! Oh, that's a monster. Oh, phew. Okay. That got my heart racing. Now, how in the world did he get in here? Wasn't that kind of spooky? <laughs> How did he get in here? No way. I am pretty sure this is all above any kind of spawning. Black black level 13, 11, 13. Yeah, it's all lit up up here. There's no way anything is spawning up here. No way. Alright, so... Yeah. Twelve. No. I, I don't know. That's... It's not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. Oh well. Nothing like a little creeper action to get your heart racing. Okay, now let's try to sleep this off <laughs> instead. Okay. Yeah, you go to sleep and it's like monsters nearby. What? Okay. At least he did not blow up. That's, you know, well, I've had that happen on more than one occasion where a creeper blows up your stuff. But not today. Not today, creeper. Oh, uh, we got more friends out here. Oh, he disappeared. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Alright, let's go get Mr. Creeper over here. Oh. No, you don't want to blow up. Come on. I didn't think he was tracking me. He didn't do a lick of damage to me, but he blew stuff up. Oh well. It's kind of open area anyway. Not worried about it. Not worried at all. Okay, I don't think he has any friends over here. Okay, well, yeah, now back to work here. Let's... Enough, enough of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, goodbye efficiency pickaxe. Hello efficiency pickaxe. Okay, you know, I, of course, I, I love the whole stone slab stacking now that you can, I mean, it's been that way for a while, but it's just nice, nice to be able to put a stone slab on the top or the bottom of a block. It works out really well, and I should have made a new shovel, but I didn't. That's okay. Um, this, yeah. We're just about there. And then we can call our stairway to the surface complete. And we're probably going to do some, a little bit of terraforming here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, I can't live with this anymore. I gotta go make a shovel. 
I don't know. Maybe I kind of like that dark. It's kind of like, you know, you're going down to the catacombs, the skeleton spawners down here. Kind of like it. Might leave it. We'll see. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I need to fill that into. I ran out of another brick. Yeah, I kind of like it. All right. Well, let's see. Let's get this finished. Um, you know what? Actually, I don't want to do that. I want to continue the pattern. Uh, let's get my stone back up. And we need stone here. And I made my shovel, so I'm going to use it. Oops. Taking away dirt that doesn't need to go. Yeah, so I was getting block lag on the server. A lot of it. It's back a little bit. And uh, I, f you know, I had a power outage unexpectedly that turned off the server. You know, I'm always good about backing up worlds uh, so that it was not an issue and I didn't really didn't I didn't have to do any kind of rebooting or anything just turn the computer back on and then I started getting lag which is always a concern and so uh, I went back in I was trying to figure out what was going on you know I went into the check on the, the processor to see what was taking up so much CPU because it was like maxed out and I discovered that uh, somehow my automatic updates had gotten turned back on again which I, I have it turned off because I don't want automatic updates because whenever it's trying to update it eats up CPU and I'm running a relatively uh, simple old computer for the server. It, the Minecraft is is all that's on it so uh, anyway I got that figured out. I'm, now today I'm still getting a little bit of block lag. Uh, not not a whole lot. It's a, just a little bit. So yeah. Um, okay. Well, I don't want I don't want to spend too much time terraforming right now and getting this the way I want it. Uh, but we're gonna turn this into a building of sorts probably gonna have it hmm, probably stone brick not a hundred percent percent sure yet probably uh, I don't think I want all of that to be stone brick right now because I'm not sure um, yeah so and then the question oops the question becomes do I want to uh, put lights down or not. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm bummed about the half slab thing. I was almost certain that light, you know, maybe I don't, maybe that was never that way. Hmm. Don't know. Now, the good thing is we don't have to worry about anything spawning on this, so we could leave it dark if we wanted. Uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is turning out really nice. I uh, need to fix this. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, enough of that for today, uh, and I don't know that I want to get into, th I mean, the storage stuff is probably an episode in and of itself, but I did want to show you, at the beginning I was saying I was going to show you something that you probably already knew, but maybe you don't. Uh, I took it for granted, I thought I knew, <laughs> and then I didn't, and I had to go look it up to figure out how to do it. So let me pass along the knowledge that I have concerning these chests up here real quick. Uh, and then we'll call it a day. And then we'll get to work on the storage system at a later date. Uh, okay, so yeah, so you put down two chests. All right, let's, uh, let's make this happen. 
button. All right, I'm giving away my secret because you're going to be able to see this really quickly. There's such a thing as a trapped chest now. Uh, because normally, you know, you cannot have two of the same chest side by side. Because they do that, which is what you want them to do. Makes a double chest. Okay, but you have one trap chest and one regular chest. They don't make a double chest. Awesome, isn't it? Uh, only slight difference is you can see the trap chest has this little bit of orange around the latch. Uh, but if you put the item uh, display on it, it does not, you can't see it. So that's that. Okay. Uh, the other thing is getting the. Um, let's see here. Do I have any? Where are they? It might be down here. Uh, the only other thing is. Yes. Item frame. What do I have to call them? Item what? Display? Hmm. Oh, what am I thinking? Get rid of these. Oh, no. Those seeds now okay so item frames uh, okay so here's how you do get you know you can't just all right let's just show, I'll just show you here uh, we get a chest uh, let's just use a regular chest and you want to put an item frame on it oh can't do it can't click on it because it opens the chest all right, so how do you get the item frame on the chest? It's a little bit of a trick, which I'm assuming is a glitch. Maybe, maybe not, but it works. Okay, put your dirt block down, put your item frame on. Okay, now comes the trick. Get your chest ready. Uh, let's use a trap chest. Break the dirt block, place your chest. And there you have it. You have a chest with an item frame on top. Uh, and put your dirt on or whatever you want to put in it. And rotate your dirt around. Open up your chest. Put your dirt in. And there I go again. Shift, not caps lock. There we go. Beautiful, isn't it? So I figured if I go around here, I have uh, one, two, three four, five, six, seven. I have a seven by one, two, three, four, five. So 35 of these things times four is like 120 and 140. So I can have 140 of those little guys. In all of Minecraft right now, I believe there's around a little over 150 blocks. So I potentially could have a little chest for almost every block in mine in Minecraft. Uh, so uh, I think I made my, uh, that's the route I'm going to go. I had thought about putting uh, stairs along on this row and dividing it up so that I would have like two chests stacked on top with oh you know a combined kind of you know so instead of having a clay for each and every one every color I would just have one clay block, and then I would have all different kinds of clay, and you know, a couple, couple different chests. So, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go with this one for everything, partly because I think it looks cool, and I think it's going to look really cool when we get it all done. But it's going to take a ton of item frames and a ton of wood, which I've started collecting. Uh, but, you know, it's a start, but it's going to go fast, and I need a lot of chests, so. And then the trap chest, too. To make the trap chest, you have to use the uh, trip wire, or trip latch hook, whatever it's called. Uh, so, yeah. All right, well, uh, that's it for today. Uh, again, excited about finishing up that skeleton spawner, and we'll maybe have a surprise about what I'm going to put, uh, what I'm going to do with that building. Uh, I've got... I got thoughts 
brewing around and going to have that finished before long. Hopefully be back to show you more of the storage system. Uh, the Kind of the balcony overlooking everything and just have everything laid out pretty cool. So, uh, And then there's lots more to do. I actually uh, have been to the nether now. I have found a fortress finally uh, and yes I died in the nether at least twice uh, and it was so, so yeah, yeah it's just always maddening when you die in the nether yeah but it happens but I found a blaze spawner I disabled it without dying that's always good and so we've got a blaze spawner to work with not sure you know I had like to make the blaze spawner traps. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I want to do something a little different. I think so. Lots to do. All right, guys. We'll take care. Thanks for watching. Uh, Parsifals. Uh, just I'm always glad to have people watching the video. So take care. Bye.